Hey, what's up everyone? Um, thank you for tuning in and back to another video. So we're going to be reviewing the new Springbok team that was announced, I think yesterday, um, for the test against the Argentinians. So quite a few surprises. Uh, yeah, so let's let's get into it. Okay, so the first one, first one is going to be the forwards. Okay, we've got Steven Kirchhoff, Box and Mark Herber. Not really gonna say much about those guys, but I'm really, really, really excited to see Marks starting. You know, um, a lot of people are calling for that, so they say he's uh, deserves more than just the bomb squad member uh, spot. So let's see what he does from the beginning. Um, I know that it's gonna be quite good. You know, in terms of you know, in the breakdown, he's quite good in the breakdowns as well as uh, gonna be gonna be helped by Dwayne. So that's what I'm. I'm, I'm Pleasantly looking forward to because we lost a lot of we lost a lot of scrap uh, when it comes to the breakdown. So hopefully with those two guys in tandem is going to help, as well as Marco van Staden as well. He's going to be starting as well. So I'm really happy about that. Um, the locks Marvin Ori and Evan, yeah, Mar Marvin deserves another shot. I know that you know a lot of people don't really believe that he deserves to be there, but he played well against Australia. That's the only chance he's got and. Uh, yeah, if he plays well, he plays well. So he deserves another shot. Eben needs to get some game minutes. So I heard one of the articles talk about that the Springboks want to get everybody to 200 minutes of playtime by the time that the World Cup comes. World Cup comes. So I guess they're trying to get Eben, you know, up to those standards. Um, I spoke about uh, I, I spoke about Marco van Staden. So yeah. I've been shouting for him. I wanted him to play against the All Blacks. Um, I know that Kwaha did play well, but I think Kwaha, you know, is playing a different role. He's more of a mobile and tackling, you know, um, flanker at the moment. And uh, we need a fast start and to actually, you know, provide that, but most importantly on the breakdown. So we've got three breakdown specialists that we know that are going to be competing. So that's pretty good. You know, even if it was playing against Australia, uh, uh, New Zealand, I would have picked this team, uh, you know, pick those three to start, you know, just to slow down the ball. But yeah, I think, you know, when it comes to the forwards, a lot of people are getting what they expected. So that is, that is pretty good, which I think is, is most probably as close as you can get to the to the to the starting forwards. Um so yeah. Um when it gets to the back line, I'm pleasantly surprised with uh Williams. You know, he's my favorite, you know, currently. I uh, thought they would have gone with Jaden, uh, because I saw that he's back in camp. Maybe he's not quite ready yet, but I thought they would have gone with Jaden because he needs some minutes as well. Um so we're not sure maybe he's gonna get a chance to play when you know they play uh, Argentina back in Buenos Aires, so we'll see that. But, you know, what we're going to be looking for with uh, Williams, he's been he's been coming off the bench, which is totally different from starting, you know, starting scrum up, because there's a more control that you need to have to, to be a starting scrum off uh, compared to be off the bench where, you know, you, have, you can play a little bit faster, you can be, a, you know, a little bit snapping runs and all of that stuff. You, you can't really start the game like that. Um, oh well, you can, <laughs> but uh, the, the Springboks don't really start the game like this. So I want to see how he plays in terms of that first half um, and and see if he's got that control. And if he's got that control, maybe, hey man, um, he could start. But I really, really thought that, you know, it would have been nice to start him off the bench with Jaden, um, you know, starting uh, the match. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, I know that Faf is on the bench, so maybe they, they're trying to see if he can get the control. If he can't get that control, you know, Faf can always come in and, and actually, um, you know, steady the ship, so to say. A lot of people have been calling for money at 10. He's there. And I know that after this game, there's the Argentina game in Argentina. Then there's uh, the, the Cardiff game uh, with the Welsh. And then there's uh, the All Blacks at London. I would say play money all along. Play money from here on. I think they they are regretting, right? I think they're regretting not playing him more last year where uh, he could have had more game time without a lot of um, pressure, if you want to put it that way. Okay, it's a test match, but there's nothing really 
you know, on the line. And now we've got, you know, the World Cup around the corner. So I'll just say, give him a shot, give him a run. Um, I had always advocated that Willem say is more of a front stain off the bench because he covers so many positions and he's not really the perfect 10 or the perfect 12 or the perfect 15. He does those jobs adequately. You know, he does those jobs well, but he's he's not a star in those positions. So, you know, he, like I say, sort of like a Francois Stein um, off the bench. So they've got him on the bench. Um, like I say, Faf is the other one on the bench. And luckily, this 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 this, this test match, they've actually gone with Am as well. So they've gone with three backs. You know, so that's a little bit of a departure. Maybe they're just trying it. I know that they had uh, one or two games last year or the year before where they played three off the bench. So I think they're also trying to see if, you know, if it if it's necessary, you know, um, to play three on the bench, can they do it? Maybe let's, let's just try it. And also I think um, needs to be played back into form. So it's unfortunate that we don't have SDAs and who's my first choice. We've got Damien starting today in this this, this match. Um, yeah, Damien maybe needs minutes as well. But I'm not, like I said, my my preference would have been Estes and give him give him time, give him time to chill with um, and maybe rekindle those, you know, that combination from the Sharks. But uh, yeah, it's it's not such a bad thing to have, you know, um, Damien, you know, having a goal. Jesse Krill um, is the only one who's actually have been has been preferred as an outside back. You know to or well, outside center to deputize for um so it's a little bit late in the in the game now to start tinkering with that so and you didn't give him minutes against the old blacks so there's nothing else man you have to play him now and you have to get him to a state where he can actually you know perform when he's called on um he's been a squad member he knows the systems you know and also the loyalty that um you know Rassi and them always show so He's there, and um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, the surprising, or it's not really a surprising, I also went for this, is the Colby Kirtley RNC on the wings, which is quite interesting. Like I said, you know, most probably you're gonna, uh, you're gonna be playing against Pofeli, who's quite tall, you know? So let's see, let's see how they go. Let's see when we have two smaller sized wingers, how do we go? To attend to the to the bombs, I think I think Mampimbi had a really an ordinary. Let's say he had an ordinary day, you know, under the high ball when they play against New Zealand. So it's only time now to actually give you know uh, you know Kirtley a, a chance because that's the defensive work. But on the attack, I think Kirtley outstrips you know um, outstrips Mampimbi at the moment. And um, let's see how it goes. And at the end of the day, you also have to get those combinations going between the wings and the fullback. You know, when does when the ball is high, when when you need to know if the fullback is coming or should I catch or you know play the position or play the background. How do you cover the whole field? You know, um, when the other team has got the ball. You know, for the for the little chips and and also the high balls in the air. So let's see how it goes. Willie's at the back. I think, like I say, they've. They've nailed their mast on Willie, so that's not going to change. That's nothing going to happen. Um, on the bench, I'm I'm happy. A uh, one standard player, I'm happy to see Trevor. You know, on the bench, I think he's been injured, and I think we really need him uh, to be fit and, and firing by the World Cup. I think it gives us something different. You know, in terms of especially the scrub. You know, the stability that it can, he, he brings on on board. So I'm really happy to see. Trevor, you know, um, the other prop is Vincent Cobb, and of course we've got Bongi. Bongi still needs minutes, and yes, my my theory still stands that uh, you know uh, Joseph Dover is not going to the World Cup. It's pretty clear now. Joseph Dover is not going to the World Cup, and uh, yeah, the front liners is going to be Marks and Bongi going to the World Cup, and the third choice is going to be Dion Fury, you know, just to cover you know any injuries, but. Like I said, I think Dion Fury is going to be doing the role that um, Scott Briggs played in the last World Cup. And um, and then Marks and Mongi is just going to be fighting out for the number two jersey. Um, 
and the other one is going to be in the bomb squad. So uh, the other uh, substitute is going to be Arkea, Arkea Sleiman, which is pretty good. He also needs to integrate into the team in terms of he hasn't played for a long time. He's been injured for a long time and the Springboks haven't had a chance to play him in the past two, three years, right? So it'll be good to see him, you know, getting more minutes. I think he got minutes. He got minutes in the in the in the Australian game. He, he came off the bench, you know, in New Zealand, and now he's coming off the bench again. So those minutes are building up, you know, integrating him into the squad. So that's quite interesting. Quaha, reliable. Of course, he covers eight, um, and we're playing playing this 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 match, so he covers eight and also the flanks. So that's quite good as well. So let's see let's see how Dwayne goes because he's going to be the captain. Let's see how far he can go. I think. Uh, Guaja will be, you know, taking the field to play in Dwayne's place. So I'm expecting, you know, um, uh, Peter Steff to go all the way and I'm expecting um, to play the whole game, I think. And I'm and I'm expecting um, uh, Eskom, you know, from starting to actually play the whole game. So what I'll be looking out for this weekend is how quickly do we start playing the fast-paced game? Because we've got Williams on the on the on the on the field, so we don't have to really wait for the second half to start kicking in. And we've got Libok who can actually spread the ball. So let's see. I want to see how how quickly are we going to start playing that attacking game? You know, because yeah, because I, I I'm not really frequent of or I'm I don't really know Williams for you know up and under. So. Um, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, can we also compete a little bit more in the lineouts and put pressure there? Um, the scrum, you know, New Zealand killed, decimated, you know, the Argentinian scrum. So I don't think that should be a big problem. So I'm looking forward to one. Are we able to fill the, the, the high poles with the two smaller wingers at the back? Um, are we able to compete in the air in terms of the, the, the in terms of the, um, uh, the lineout. Um, are we also able to spread the ball, you know, as we did against Australia? You know, when it comes to the midfield, is 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 Damien be is Damien gonna be able to play this new game that we're trying to implement? All right. I think he's gonna be playing the whole game. So is Damien play, is gonna be able to play this game that we're trying to implement um, in the first half? Because of course. Most likely, Arm is going to be coming in the second half, so that's that's uh, in terms of attacking instinct might be given to Arm. So, yeah, those are the th those are the three things that I'm actually looking forward to see if those happen. And by the way, you know, just to put it out there, it's not a foregone conclusion that it's going to be an easy game against Argentina. I think they are also building up a hell of steam. They won the second half against the All Blacks when the All Blacks were there. Uh, they played pretty well. You know, in the second half, they won in Australia for the first time. So, yeah, so they also building up something, building up ahead of steam. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what team they put out. Um, I know that, you know, people like Kramer are still injured. So let's see what, what team they put up. But they've, they've beaten South Africa in South Africa before. So it's not an easy game. So let's see how it goes. But I'm looking forward to it. What are your three things that you're going to be looking forward to in this game? All right, cheers for now. I'm out.